it would be interesting to do something I've been wanting to do since the first day I got here in Spain and went to a supermarket. Let's check out some of the American produce sections. Specifically, the Trader Joe's section in my local Aldi supermarket. What? As some of you guys know, I went to Trader Joe's when I was in America before. I thought it was a hardware shop. I thought Trader Joe's was freaking cool. It did seem a little snobby. It felt a little bit like a snobby supermarket. So I was surprised to find it in Aldi. But it turns out Aldi Nord, that's European Aldi, is the same company that owns Trader Joe's. <laughs> And what's really interesting about these products is they are actually in the Spanish language. So they're Spanish Trader Joe's. However, they did come in the American section and that in itself might blow your mind. We have an American section in our supermarkets in Europe. Because in America, you guys have like the Mexican section, the Italian section, the Chinese section, and we have an American section. I have looked for the Irish section in stores that doesn't exist. There are specialist Irish stores, but they're specialists. It's not like in your everyday supermarket. It would just be Tato, Kerrygold, and Guinness. So some of these products today are really interesting because they are probably not going to be available at American Trader Joe's, but like, they're, it's just mind blowing. I find it interesting, I hope you do too. If you could comment below if you're living in America or Canada and let me know what sections you have in your supermarket for like places across the world, I would be super interested to hear. Okay, so some of these that I picked out, I know I'm going to freaking hate, but I mean, isn't that half the fun when I go, uh, I feel like I want a lucky dip. Okay, we have Trader Joe's, some kind of nut. Anicardos, Castana de Caillou, Caillou. These. Fritos y Salados, Torado con Sal. So it's got salt. You don't speak, you don't speak, you don't speak Spanish? <laughs> Anicardos. What kind of nut is that? Oh, Google Translate, you are my very best friend. Cashew. I'm not a massive nut fan. <laughs> I'm not though, I, I, I just don't like this. I always feel like why eat nuts when you could eat crisps or chocolate. Oh, Chewy, hi. What, what fun are you seeing you here with this food? They do smell good. Here, smell. Right. Smell of it. Hmm, it's nice. It's not and remarkable. It's just a nut, really. I'm gonna just skim over this one. It's just a nut, you know? I don't like nuts, I'm gonna give it like a six out of ten. Not nothing spectacular. Okay, up next, mmm, brownies, Trader Joe's brownies chocolate. And that seems to be in English. But the ingredients are in Espanol. Oh, Christ on a bike. These are 127 calories per brownie. I am kind of a brownie connoisseur, so to be honest, my standards are pretty high for brownies. Oh, look at your little package. That's very sweet. And they're individually wrapped. Look at the little American stores. I'm American stores, aren't you? <laughs> you are such a little beggar. <laughs> look, you'd think he hadn't eaten in ages. And I gave him special food today because he went to the vet and he got a shot. Looks fairly moist, which is important when it comes to a brownie. It does not smell extremely strongly, but I do see chocolate chips. <coughs> There are chocolate chips here, so claps for chips. Okay. Mm, it's nice. It tastes a bit synthetic. Can I actually tell you in all honesty what it reminds me of? It reminds me of um, when I'm on a diet and um, I have like my little nice thing that I get to eat. And then you go, it's a brownie, but then you find out the brownie is only this size um, and it's 127 calories of it's not the greatest brownie I ever tasted. It would give me the hit if I was just looking for a low calorie chocolate something. Tastes like diet food. That's not really a great review, is it? Okay, so I'm gonna give that one a seven out of 10, cause it's still a brownie. Like you can't go super wrong with a brownie. Okay, next up. Oh, I should have probably started with these. These are going to melt. It's soft ice cream, vanilla cocoa. And the reason I picked these it's because recently there was a conversation about Cornetto. A lot of you guys in comments gave me the equivalent of what your American version of a Cornetto is, but they're not the same. I think this is an argument I'm never gonna win. It's a bit like the scone biscuit argument. Like to me, they are the same. And to you, your Cornettos would be the same as a lot of um, ice creams that you have, but they're just, they're not the same. 
They're a version, but they're not the same. Okay, just rip the box, Diane. I mean, I don't know how far wrong you could go with the, oh, look at the fancy gold. Oh, look at the little oh, conical. Do you know what though? I'm gonna have to eat to the very end of this because like the biggest test is if they have a big blob of chocolate in the bottom or not. Oh, the things I do for you guys would be so hard to eat this whole ice cream. I'm looking the wrong way. Take off your hat. You wanna lick that? Lick the lid. Yum, 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 yum. Lick, lick. Chewy loves ice cream. It's very bad for him, but he loves it. Do you know what? Like, in a lot of things relating to dogs that, that are bad for them, like, this food is not good for us either. It's not like I give him ice cream every day, but he has tried ice cream. Okay? He's gotta live his life. Ooh. Ooh. Are you hypnotized? Ooh. Chewy's hypnotized. Tastes exactly like you would imagine. Oh crap. Crapola, I wanted to get to the bottom, but now I've just a, a hand of flake. Ah, ah, help me deal with my mistake. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get that much chocolate at the bottom. Oh, it's the best part. I remember once when I was younger, I put this bit on the table, set aside for myself, and my dad came along and nabbed it, and he was like, I thought you didn't want that bit. And I was like, and I've never forgotten, Dad, never forgotten. Of course, he did pay for the ice cream, but... Nom, 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 nom. I'm like a squirrel. It's always the best chocolate, the bit at the bottom. What's that about? I'm gonna give that one a nine out of 10 because it was really, really delicious. Didn't like blow my mind exceptionally, which is what I give it the 10 out of 10 for, but it was, it did what it said on the tin. Next up, we're gonna have the one I least wanna try. It's dried pineapple things is what I can gather from the packet. I like pineapple drink. I don't like pineapple. And these look bland. I bet they're very healthy. How many calories? Oh, oh 35 gram portion. Oh, why do they make it so hard when you're trying to count calories? So this whole bag is 75 grams. One portion would be 35 grams, which would be just over half. And that's 109 calories. Well, I think that's not bad. Let's see how filling they are. Do I think I'm gonna like this? No, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna like this. Oh, the smell! Oh, it's a very strong smell. It's not a bad smell. Jesus! Why is it so hard to open? It looks. It's very strong smelling. It looks like a nut. Oh. Oh. It tastes like something I'd kick myself into thinking I would eat on a diet, but I wouldn't. It's more sugary than I thought, like obviously natural sugar. Do you know what it really tastes like? Raisins. It really tastes like raisins. I guess that makes absolutely no sense. But it's that texture, it's really chewy. Um, yeah, not the worst. Way nicer than I thought it was gonna be, to be fair. Do you know what, for the surprise factor, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Would, like, would I eat it on the reg? No, no I wouldn't, but it's, it's meh, it's actually not bad. Most people would like it. Most people who like fruit would like it. Dun dun dun, save the best for last because I felt like this is the most American thing, a New York cookie. Trader Joe's New York cookie. What makes them New York? I don't know. Fabricado in España. So it was made in Spain. New York cookies from Trader Joe's made in Spain. And these were in the freezer section, so interesting. Ooh, smushed, very smushed. Oh, I don't they look good. I can imagine now, obviously this is cold and the ice cream itself, I think that's ice cream, I assume. We'll get to it, I suppose. But I'm gonna think if those were like hot cookies and this bit was cold, that would be exceptionally nice, but really hard to serve up. Oh, Chibi's just licking the wrapping. These remind me of, um, I talked before about in Ireland, we have um, wafers and vanilla ice cream. Uh, you all right there, Chibi? <laughs> Is it stuck on your face? <laughs> Sorry for interrupting him. How, how rude. Mm. Mm. Oh no. Excuse you. Oh no, that's like absolutely a new nice thing unlocked. I'm gonna end up buying this and getting really fat. Ugh. Oh, I really like that. That's too delicious. Too delicious. 
Mm, mm, mm. These little chocolate chips and the ice cream and the contrast. Look, the texture in the biscuit. Oh, that's a win. That's a win. Well done, Trader Joe's. Do you have these in America? Let me know below in comments. Is this is this stuff all readily available in American Trader Joe's, the poshest of supermarkets? Um, because I'd really like to know. If you could also thumbs up the video, I would really appreciate it because apparently that's good for me. And subscribe if you think you might like to come here again. You're more than welcome. We'll pull up some cashew nuts for your next visit. I have a couple of really lovely shout outs today. The first one comes from Kimber and she would like to say mankind's efforts to build an international base to live on the moon are very cool. She wants to thank all the people that are working toward that goal. And who knows, maybe we'll all get to live there sooner rather than later. It would be very bouncy, thank you. The second one of the day comes from Jason Moyer and he wants to shout out everyone who's struggling with the loss of a family member. He says the loss of anyone close is always difficult, but the loss seems more intense during the holidays. While they may be physically absent from celebrations, they're always present in your heart. Jason says they wouldn't want you to be sad during this time of year, so do your best to honor them and focus on the joy they brought to your life. Lovely sentiment. Thank you so much, Jason. That's it for today. I'll, I'll, I'll be back with bigger than ever. Bye. Can I clap? I, I nearly put that up my snaws. I don't know if you can eat nuts, Julie. I licked a little bit, but that was an accident. That wasn't the formal testing. Uh, okay. Julie, that's gross. Can you open that buddy? No. Ah, the earring wins again. Your secret tool as a woman for opening stuff. Do you know what? For the surprise, 